How do you get to be a long snapper? How do you get to be a long snapper? Uh, long story long, but short. Uh, I started snapping when I was a sophomore in college because of need, and I was a uh, actually a quarterback before that, and kind of just transitioned into the position, and have been doing it ever since. Uh, but the reason the reason I became a long snapper is that we had some issues on our, our special teams in college, and it cost us some games that prevented us to getting to our goals. And uh, Coach Brown came to me and said, I want you to do this. And uh, fortunately enough, I was able to transition into the position. What's the best advice you've ever been given? Uh, the best advice I've ever been given is uh, to see what you hit, uh, especially nowadays with, uh, with all the concerns with uh, head trauma and you know, possible head trauma because of the sport and uh, protecting your body and most importantly your brain. You know, really to make sure that you see what you hit, that you're you're uh, conscious of where your head is at all times, and and recognizing that this is a is this a, this is a violent game, and so you gotta you gotta you gotta protect yourself. Who's your hero? My hero? Um, that's a good question. Probably my older brother. Okay. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Minnesota? My favorite thing about Minnesota is the weather at this time of the year. <laughs> weather in the summer is just phenomenal um, it's been you know these 10 years that I've been here it's been it's mm -hmm. been a great thing uh, to be able to play, to have two days in you know below 100 degree temperatures <laughs> so uh, the weather this time of the year in Minnesota is, is just excellent that's one of my favorite things about it okay. and uh, do you have advice for kids um, yeah you know my advice for, for young kids out there playing the sport is, um, you know, it's it's great on so many more levels than just just a sport. You know, you, you really have to learn dedication and uh, accountability, and just how to work with a unit. And as a, a lot team. of times, <laughs> and as a team, and, and a lot of times, you know, you're going to face that same adversity later on in your life. And it's a good stepping stone, so I'm a big proponent of just playing sports in general and, and uh, learning how to, to work with people that you normally probably wouldn't, wouldn't work with or, or be around. So, and do you uh, have a charity that you work for? I work with uh, Sheriff's Youth Project. It's actually in Le Center, um, or Le Sur County. And we, uh, we actually contribute to a lot of different charities through, my ch through the charity I'm involved with. And uh, so if anyone's interested in being a part, okay. we, we would love your support. Okay.